Welcome back friends. So today we are going to do a install and review of the Halo View M7108. This is uh, not only a backup camera but an observation camera. So you not only can use it when you're backing up into your campsite or into your driveway, you can also use it while you're going traveling down the interstate or down the road uh, to see what's behind you and I think that's invaluable. Uh, just a disclaimer, Halo View sent us this for free. Uh, they asked us to do a review video and we're happy to do that. Okay, let me start by showing you what comes in the kit. Very important, we are prepped for a Furion backup slash observation camera. Okay, name brand Furion. Now this kit uh, does not work with that prep, but Halo View also includes an adapter. Okay, so you can also get an adapter for uh, that will just plug right into the prep of the Furion. So that's important. Got an adapter bracket, got an adapter for the wiring. This should be as simple as plug and play. We're gonna find that out in just a few minutes. But uh, yeah, make sure you get an adapter set if you're pre-wired for the Halo View. I mean for the Furion. Uh, the other things that are included, obviously the camera, the, the mount for the camera here. We got some wiring harnesses that we don't need. You, you do have a lot of wiring apparatuses that I'm not going to need uh, because this is a wireless camera and I'm already prepped. All right, so keep that in mind. If you're not prepped for a camera, you're gonna need some of these wiring harnesses here and they include that, so you should be good. Uh, also comes with a seven inch screen. Uh, it's a 720p, so um, a nice, it'll be a nice clear screen. You have your 12 volt adapter. And they also sent me a, um, a range extender. I hope I don't need this. I I, I'm not a big fan of drilling holes in the rig, especially the outside, okay? Um, just another place for water to get in. But yeah, I hope I don't need this. I'm certainly gonna try it without it first. I've seen some other videos out there. They did not seem to need this particular extender so uh, but yeah they do have a range extender extender as well so let's get started with the install okay so I'm fairly certain you don't need to see my mug in the uh, in the camera for this first thing I'm going to do is remove this plate here this is just a protective covering it, the only purpose it serves is to keep water out water and dust I guess it's just four Phillips head screws You can see once you get in there, this should be my plug and play here. All right, if you can see that, that's what the adapter's for. And then, but you also have some options of uh, hooking it to the the other wiring if you're not putting in a Furion camera. I hope we don't need that because Halo View has provided that plug and play adapter. Let's go get the mount and make sure it works. Okay, so I'm doing this for the first time, by the way. My impression was this adapter was going to fit into that housing. That is not the case. Looking at where these uh, screw holes are, it matches up perfectly to this housing. So I'm gonna be required to take this housing off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just giving you a heads up. If you're doing it, you're gonna have to take this housing off right here. It's four screws, okay? Then you're gonna have to clean up some silicone. And then of course, I'm gonna have to reapply some silicone uh, once we get the halo view installed. So, uh, so yeah, let me go ahead and get that going. How do you clean it up? Well, I'm going to take a sharp blade and get as much as I can off. And then I'm going to go behind and get the rest of it with some mineral spirits. So um, just be really careful here just to get the, the main gunk off. You don't want to scratch your fiberglass here. Anytime 
you try to remove silicone, just a little bit of odorless mineral spirits really does the trick. Alright, go, go behind it. I'm nice and clean now. I'm going to go behind it with a little bit of glass cleaner just to get that mineral spirits. Just to get that residue off. I, I want my next beads of silicone to adhere properly. And uh, yeah, I don't want any. We don't like water in the rig. <laughs> Alright. Nice looking prep. Okay, so I do not like installs that aren't clean and I can't get these fittings to stuff up into there and I'm sure not drilling a bigger hole I can promise you that so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, remove these fittings here and just take and replace them I'm just gonna attach them with electrical tape uh, they will be fine uh, yeah I'm not a big fan I want to be able to get all of that wire back up in there um, I just it's just gonna look so much more fit and finish I I'm not a big fan of just leaving it what will happen is it'll be sitting up here behind that adapter and I just don't I'm not gonna do that so let me get these rewired right quick okay I've got my bracket up there and I haven't screwed my screws all the way in. I'm going to give them a little dab of silicone before I get them all the way in. Just putting it behind the screw head and a little bit of up here on top. Just, uh, you know, a little extra silicone doesn't hurt anything. Go ahead and finish zipping them in. You'll notice I'm using a screwdriver. Um, I don't like to use a drill in this situation because I like to feel the torque on the screw. Uh, working with fiberglass and uh, I'm in no hurry. I have no desire to strip one of these out. So I like to have a good feel of where I'm at with these screws. And of course one has to be stubborn. There it goes. Alright. Now that mount is solid as a rock. So that's a good sign. Okay. I think what I'm going to end up doing is I've, I've got a lot of extra line here. I'm going to end up having to wrap around here to make that a little cleaner. I just can't get all of the line I need up into that this is the ceiling of the camper. I can't get it all up in there. So uh, I'm not sure if something's blocking it, a frame or what, but I'm certainly not gonna drill out any more from this area right here. So let's keep going. All right, just to recap what we've done so far, we've got the adapter for the Furion prep installed here. That's this plate. Then we've got the actual camera uh, mount mounted to the adapter. So these are nice stainless steel uh, bolts. The hardware is really good. I got to give them that. Um, yeah, we'll see. Let's see how it works. I'm going to have to somehow get a lot of extra line buttoned up behind this mount. I, I just don't want lines flopping down here. That's ridiculous. Uh, so I'm going to have to clean it up somehow. Once I get the camera up here and get it all hooked up, we'll see how we get it cleaned up. First things first, I'm going to install the hood. So this just literally pops over and inserts into these little, there's some little nipples there. Um, once we put the camera in, we'll, we'll screw that down and secure it. All right, I don't know if you can see the camera, but you got two adjustment screw holes here. Um, and we'll insert back in here. But first we gotta plug it up. So put 
those back in my pocket. And this is where I was a little concerned. I don't know if I'll be able to go around. I'll have to go up under, I guess. Frustrating, but I can't get that line. Generally, I would love to do a much cleaner install than this, but I'm just not going to drill into my RV. I'm just that's not happening today. Not if I can help it, and I can help it, so. We're just going to wrap this behind it, and it should come out fine. You just want to make sure with your connections that they're facing downhill so water can't get in them. Um, that might actually work there. I can actually, I can live with that. That's going to be, that's going to be about as clean as I'm going to get right now. So I think I can live with that. I just can't get that, like I said, I can't get that line in there. These adjustment screws, get this camera mounted. Oh boy. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if you noticed that, I had to take the uh, antenna up through the top of the sunscreen and it was fine. Sorry if I'm blocking your view, I gotta find out exactly where these screw holes are. I mean that's what it's gonna look like. I think that's a relatively clean install. I mean you guys know that's there but it's going to be hard to see. Let me get this buttoned up for you. Okay, friends, you're going to have to excuse the sudden change in audio. For some reason, my mic decided to poop out on me right here. But there's the install, all finished. A little bit more wiring showing than I would have liked. But, like I said, I was not going to drill into the rig uh, if I didn't absolutely have to, and I didn't. And now we're going up front to see the screen. It literally is a plug-and-play. So, as soon as I plugged it up, you'll see the 12-volt adapter. Uh, it, it fired right up. It did great. I'll have to make some adjustments. I'm going to use mine as an actual um, backup camera to see how close I'm getting to the house. So, you can see mine's adjusted a little further down. But good screen, nice color. There's the 12 volt adapter I'm pointing at right there. Um, yeah, very happy with this. I, I can't imagine needing anything else with this. So uh, you can see my nasty garage there. But a lot of people are going to adjust it higher so they can see back behind them on the interstate. But I'm going to use it more as a backup. And you can see right there, I've got some I've got some service there. So I did not need the actual range extender, which is good. Okay, friends, that about wraps it up. Just an update since the install. I have used it as an observation camera running down the road 65 or so miles an hour. And no problems with reception. Everything comes in crystal clear and very happy with it. You can find the link for the Halo View camera in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to share it. It really helps the channel. And please consider subscribing.